All right, my name is Dale Richmond. We're from the Soul Searchers, uh, we're from Emerson, Kentucky. I like to say one thing that uh, this station here goes out to a lot of good people out there in the land that don't have no church, and a lot of them at the, in the nursing homes and things of that sort. Can't get to attend services and things, so this reaches all them people and shut in people. And I tell you, you don't know how much that they really enjoy this program. So we like to support this and uh, your gifts or what you can give or whatever, and it greatly be appreciated. So uh, if you don't watch this program, so tell your neighbor and tell them to get on and watch us. And I tell you, you'll really enjoy it because you feel a good spirit, and the good people here has the good spirit with them. They make you feel right at home. So we enjoy these people, and uh, you'll enjoy them too when you turn on and watch us here on WLJC. So we appreciate you very, very much. Well, good evening. Welcome to our services tonight from um, studios of WLJC in Beattyville. We appreciate everybody. We know most of you are probably disappointed. Sister Margaret's not here, but uh, she'll be back uh, probably Monday, so just needed a couple of days off. And uh, So um, I know how it is. Uh, I can't imagine, you know, um, what she goes through. I just, uh, you know, just doing what little I do. Uh, the stress, uh, of, uh, I guess it's easier on her than it is me, but I get uh, kind of scared sitting here, but but we'll get right into the service. Um, we're going to read just a couple verses and have prayer, and we got a couple of good groups here tonight. We're going to give them plenty of time to sing, but we just appreciate you. Uh, if it wasn't for you out there watching, and there'd be no need for us to be here on this side, so you're what it's all about, and um, we just want to be a blessing to you. and. Uh, tell you about something good. Uh, I, I don't think there's a whole lot out there in the world good anymore, um, but in the Lord, uh, you know, we, we sing about Him, we preach about Him, we talk about Him, and the reason we do that is because we as Christians, we know what He is and what He means to us, and we know what He can mean to you if you don't have Him. So we, we just hope tonight that you listen and you listen to the Lord. I believe the Lord will speak to hearts tonight. I really do. And uh, the greatest thing is to be saved. That's for everybody. That's not just for uh, Wayne House or any of these um, singers here tonight that needed that. But everybody in the world needs the Lord. And so we hope and pray that you uh, listen to the Lord uh, when He speaks to your heart and obey Him. We'll read just a little bit and we'll get right into the and singing. But the 14th chapter of John. And I read this over here maybe a year ago, something like that. But... On the way over here tonight, I just had this on my heart, and I thought about, you know, just uh, I would read it, so we'll read it right quick and get into the service. So let not your heart be troubled. You believed in God, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, that you, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way, you know. And I, I thought, as we was driving over here tonight, what a blessing that is. For everybody that reads that or hears that tonight, that's the Lord speaking to you. And He's saying, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And I mean, I believe he said that to let us know that there's room for all. And he said, if I go not away, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't come back. But I go away and I prepare a place for you. And I thought, what a blessing that is for me and you and everybody else just to know that Jesus went away to prepare a place for us. And he said, now if I go away and I prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto me, that where I am, there ye may be also. What a blessing that is to know that Jesus went away, came here, 
and lived 33 years and then was crucified, died on that cross, um, was buried in a tomb for three days and three nights, and then was resurrected and walked his surf around 40 more days after he resurrected and then he went up on the clouds and he told his disciples that day, he said, as he ascended, you know, that angel said, why stand you gazing up into heaven? He said, this Jesus that you see ascending will in like manner uh, descend. He'll come again. And, and that's what the, the Lord was talking about. He's coming back. It may not be today and it may not be tomorrow, but He's coming. And He's coming back to receive them unto Him that will believe in Him. So I'm glad I'm a believer. I'm glad one night a long time ago I believed in Him and I got saved. And I hope and I pray if you're not saved, you get your mind on the Lord tonight and you listen. So we're going to pray. You pray with us and we'll get right into the singing group. So, And I ask you out there, no matter what kind of trouble you got and no matter what the, the burdens of life may be in your life, God is able to take care of that if you'll trust in Him and believe in Him. So whoever you are, whatever needs you, you have, the greatest need you'll ever have is the need of salvation. So let's pray tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight with thankful hearts. And I'm thankful that we have your word to go by. And your word said that I will go away and I will prepare a place for you. And I'm glad of that tonight. And I'm glad that the scripture said in the book of Revelation that whosoever will, let him come and drink of the water of life freely. I'm glad that no matter who they are, no matter what they've done or where they've been or who they are tonight, there's hope in, in, in your son Jesus if they will believe. Bless this singing group tonight. Bless the phone operators and bless uh, the staff. Bless every need in every life tonight, Lord. We, we know there's many, many, many souls out there lost and undone. And the one thing they need above and beyond everything else is salvation. You're, you're, you're the provider of that if they will accept it. You're blessed now. Answer the needs in life. Bless the service. Bless every need in every life. And we'll bow our head and we'll give you the praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And amen. And amen. So we'll get right into the service. We've got two groups tonight. And both of them come a long ways to sing for you. So we want you to listen tonight to them. And then we want you, if you've got a prayer need, you call in, Sister Dottie and and, and there's some folks upstairs helping her tonight, so you call in and they'll pray with you and we'll, we'll pray with you. So you call in tonight, and especially if you don't know the Lord. Um, this would be the greatest time in the world to find Jesus, so, so do that tonight. So, so tonight our first group, we'll get right into them, Wade Hughes and, and, Hughes and, and Singers from Frankfort, Kentucky. And you can reach them at 502 229 1020. That's 502-229-1020. And he's the, the pastor, of, it says, of the West Frankfurt Church of God. So God bless you tonight as they sing. We're here for one reason, and that is to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. our wonderful Savior. I'm glad for these that have made the journey with us tonight, and we've prayed that we'll be a blessing to someone out there and I recommend my Lord to you I accepted Lord August 5 1945 at the little Mount Olive Christian Church that's been a while now I've pastored in five states Ohio Kentucky Tennessee Indiana and Illinois and the last 35 years at Frankfort Kentucky and there's a group that uh, meets at the McDonald's on the west side that will be listening and uh, this is not only for you, but for everyone that listens and hears this program. Where could I go but to the Lord? Living below in this old sinful world, hardly a comfort can afford. Striving along to face them. Where could I go to my Lord? Oh, where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Then needed a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go?
I suppose I was about six years old. We walked that mile from the church back home. And mother said, what are you doing back there, son? Someone sung a song. I never had to memorize it. It's been with me through the years. And I was just thinking, I, that's what I want to do. And all these years, the Lord's let me walk with Him. Only let me walk with Thee. Only let me walk with Thee. It will help me on my journey. If I may but walk with Thee. If you're out there somewhere, life has been a series of disappointments. Perhaps you don't know which way to go or turn. Please turn to the Lord. He was accused of being a friend of sinners. And really the evidence points that way. He wants you to walk with Him. Only let me walk with Thee. Only let me walk with thee. It, it would help me, oh my Savior. Only let me walk with thee. Now, Priscilla, we're going to ask you to do one of your favorites, right? Sing your little heart out. What key? D. D. The key of D. That's what I'll play in. I just want to send this out there to all those that you feel like giving up or you almost have give up. But I just want to tell you, you're not too far for God to reach down and save your soul. I stood in the courtroom. The judge turned my way. Looks like you're guilty. Now what do you say? I spoke of your honor. I have no defense. But that's when mercy walked in. Yes, mercy walked in and pleaded my case all to the stand of God's saving grace. The blood was in that covered. How could this be that someone so guilty had just been set free? My chains were broken. I felt born.
much. We have Johnny Smith with us today. He's very fortunate to be here, to be alive for that matter. He's a cancer survivor, as I am, for many years. Amen. He has a song, something about, I have so much to thank him for. Brother Johnny, Praise so God. much to thank him for. Praise the Lord. I want to send this out to my daughter tonight. I know she's back there in Frankfurt, the one that's got MS. And uh, she's going to be watching this program tonight. Maybe something we can say tonight just touch her life. When I look around and see All the good things He does for me I know I'm unworthy of them all But His blessings He freely gives I owe God so much to thank Him for, and I've got so much to thank Him for, so much to praise Him for, we see, yes, He's been so good to me. When I think, I think of what he's done and worth, and worth. if he brought me from, I've got so much to thank him for. Now sometimes while on this way, I kneel, I stop. Thank you, Lord, all you've done for me. And someday I'll reach sweet heaven's shore. Oh, please, Lord, just let me live once more. I got so much to thank you for. I've got so much, so much to thank Him for, so much, so much to praise Him for. Oh, we see that He's been so good to me, and when I think, I think of what He's done and worth. And worth. He brought. to thank him for. Now Bud, Bud is the one with the big pork chop sideburns and his wife is Anita and they're going to sing the best they ever sung in their lives just now. So Bud and Anita Palmer, <laughs> are you all ready? They're going to sing, sing, sing. <laughs> what key are we doing this in? What did they say? I'm hard to hear. G, everybody. There's too many miles behind Behind the mountain, to 
thinking how nice it would be if there's someone so many years ago that I hadn't seen for a long, long time would just somehow come by. Not long ago, I got a call from Dave Wilburn, and we were been friends a long time, and Dave is going to learn how, he old, how old he is just now. He's 92, just a few days ago, and he was on the radio when I was three years old. He has won many, many national awards. He travels and yet travels today. It would take more than the rest of our limited time just to give you what you might call his credentials, but let him just share something with you now. And he's an excellent musener. Musener. He may be that too. He's an excellent musician. And right now he's going to lift you to great heights and drive you to great ends. Now live up to that, Dave. Well, thank you, Pastor. You know, sometimes it's hard to live up to what people say about you. Anybody have that trouble? Anyway, it's a pleasure to be back with this man. I hadn't seen him since 1990, but he left something great with me. I passed through the Church of God campground. My brother and I was, I lost my brother that same year, but we were traveling, singing, and I stopped, saw the camp meeting. He was out there painting on the, the back side of people's Bibles, on the, painting pictures. And I said, Brother Hughes, do you think you could paint a picture on my mandolin case? Well, yeah, bring it out here. The thing looks as beautiful as it did the day he painted it. I brought him a picture and showed him. I didn't bring we the mandolin. We don't do no shoddy work. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but he painted a, a mountain scene, a beautiful mountain scene with a little church, uh, you know, from years ago. And painters never forget anything. Out behind the church, out in the woods, is a little outhouse. But I've had numbers of people want to know, where in the world did you get that painting? And, you know, I, I didn't know, even know where he was at that time. I couldn't tell him where to get it painted. But anyway, great man of God. But isn't it good to know the Lord? He's, he's the whole thing. I'm on tour now. I'll wind up in Dewey, Arizona, doing Sunday with the pastor, morning and evening. Is that right? And uh, so happy to be with you. I'm, I'm suffering. You know, I don't like to make excuses. Been down in uh, southwest Virginia with my sister visiting. And uh, the dampness down there, you stay wet all day. You didn't have to do anything. And kind of left me with a little sinus drainage. But you know what? I found out a long time ago there's two times to do things. It's when you feel like it and when you don't. Amen. Two, uh, two times to go to church when you feel like it. Now you say amen when you amen. feel like it when you don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm dropping keys to try to get through one of my own songs. This is kind of a mission. A lot of people think you have to go to Europe or, I mean, over to Africa somewhere to be a missionary. But, you know, your mission feels next door. Amen. 
I was in a, a Baptist church doing a singing out in Arizona last year, and there was a sign at the door there. When you leave this building, you're in a mission field. How great that is. I hope I can get through this song. It's so, such a blessing to be here in this beautiful studio with all these beautiful folks. You know, the Bible said he'd beautify the meek with salvation. These, pe these folks are all meek. Beautiful people. And the, the minister up there and all these people working here. Out. Faithful folks, you know. Here it goes like this if I can get through it. Wherever God put you, help spread the word. To all who come near you, may your voice be heard. You can't reach the whole world, whatever you do. So bloom in the garden where God planted you. Bloom in the garden wherever you are. You may not be able to go very far, but the people around you, they need the Lord too. So bloom in the garden where God planted you. Let's switch right over to D chord. It may be a small place, hardly recognized. But the souls in your garden, they're seen in God's eyes. So reach out and help them, let His love shine through. Bloom in the garden where God planted you. Bloom in the garden wherever you are. You may not be able to go very far, but the people around you, they need the so bloom in the garden where God planted you. together if you will of amazing grace time is getting away it's been so good to be here always support this station I've always looked up for this station except one time last uh, November I got a little plane to fly me over WLJC and sort of look down on it it looked good from up there and it looked good from down here amazing grace key of D folks amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved the day I believe. I once I was lost, but now I find a life. Thank you. 
many dangers, toils and snares have already come. Ages 92 and 82, we've come a long way. All for the Lord. Trust in Him. Love Him. He loves you. We know less days to sing God's When we come to that river that affords no return bridge. And the old ship of Zion weighs anchor. Praise God. And sets up the Milky Way. Praise God. And drops the gangplank on the other side. We step off into a land that is celestial. We feel a reaching hand on ours. And know it is God's hand. And breathe free and deep. To find the air celestial. What a day. I will meet you in the morning. Inside the eastern gate, over there I will meet you. I will meet you. I will meet you. Brother Dave on the mandolin. that last verse again, whichever I forgot what the last verse is. I will meet in the morning just inside the eastern day for I'm coming in the morning so long to wait I 
I'm going to meet you. That's a promise. I'm going to meet you in the morning. Just inside the eastern gate. Over there. I will meet you in the morning. I'm going to meet you in the morning. I'm going to meet you in the morning. If I could hear her tender voice as then, how happy I would be, would mean so much to me. If I could hear my mother pray again. used to pray that I on Jesus would rely and always walk the shining gospel way so trusting still his love I'm gonna seek that home above where I shall meet my mother And praise the Lord. Good, good job tonight, Wade Hughes and, and singers. Frankfurt, Kentucky, come a long ways tonight. And we appreciate them coming. You can reach them, area code 502-229-1020. That's 502-229-1020. And uh, he's pastor of the West Frankfurt Church of God. So we appreciate him. And we got a few um, prayer requests here before the next group, group comes. And we'll read a few of them to you from Corbin. Teddy is called in, need a prayer um, from the Lord. So remember Teddy tonight, Madison, County Bertha is called in for herself, legs, back, and hip pain, and her daughter. And said so her daughter's got cancer, so we ask everybody to pray for them. From Bell County, uh, uh, Beverly is called in for her and her mother. Both of them in need a prayer. From Johnson County, Jesse is called in, back pain, needs a touch from the Lord. From Fayette County, Daisy has called in. Daisy Johns, 84 years old. So we, we appreciate Daisy calling in. And she called in for herself. Or, um, and one of these called in. Anyhow, Mig, and said they both need a touch from the Lord to be healed. So remember both of them. From Morgan County, Charlotte, said the Lord knows the need. Hazard, George is called in. And uh, for Karen, and said, um, uh, has cancer, needs a healing, and um, uh, just uh, needs a touch from the Lord. From Carter County, Ernestine has called in for her Aunt Ida, 93-year-old, and said she fell and broke her leg. So God bless you, Ida. And we would like for everybody to pray for her. And she also want everybody to pray for a friend she has in Fleming County, waiting on, on doctors, on, um, you know, test results in, in, in the hospital. So remember that. From Blaine, Kentucky, Howard has called in and um, having a CAT scan Tuesday to diagnose it says possible lung problem. Said we're believing there will be no problem if the Lord touches him. So that's that's a, that's faith and that that's what works. Uh, Murray has called in from London and uh, we know Murray, Murray Rose, and we know Murray very well. Appreciate her, love her, needs a touch from the Lord and. 
having problems with her medication. So we want everybody to remember Mary, pray for her. Let your county Fred needs a touch from the Lord. From Jessman, Miss Loudon has called him um, um, for a prayer for her and her family. Let your county or Orville needs a touch from the Lord. Floyd County, uh, Cassie. Uh, we wanted a song dedicated to her, so we do that right now. Uh, dedicate her a song. Uh, here, here's one that wanted a song song. A mother in Pike County. Here's a good one. I, and you know, this just shows you how people uh, calls in, and they, they need the Lord to move. And here's a mother in Pike County is called in for her son that lives in Georgia and said he's about to lose everything he's got. He can't find a job. Really needs prayer for him and his family. I, I, I'm believing God can find him a job. And you call him from Pike County, and God just as big in Georgia as he is here in Beattyville or anywhere else. So, well, I'm glad we serve a big God. Amen. I really am. Lexington lady has called in for her mother and herself and said her mother is uh, 84 years old, has had five major surgery, and has uh, needs prayer real bad, and her daughter has been taking care of her for seven years. So, Need a prayer. Powell County, Johnny, pray for him and his family. Beulah from Laurel County, and need a prayer. Breffitt County, a mother is called in for her son on drugs. Lee County, Gracie, suffering with possible kidney stones. Fayette, mother is called in for her son, Leo, and high blood pressure, uh, nosebleeds, needs prayer. Bell County, or Bill is called in from Laurel County for Bill and Sandy. Laurel County, Bill is called in for Jack. Uh, has two stents put in, going back for a checkup, praying for everything to be all right. Letcher County, a lady is called in uh, in a lot of pain, needs prayer. We'll, we'll get just a couple more, and we'll get right to the sister to sing. But Sister Phil, Phyllis has called in, said for her sister, and, uh, and, and um, just for Doug and Clifton and David, uh, called in from Letcher County. So a bunch of prayer needs there. Lee County, mother for Crystal. Uh, back problems in pain, mother from Lee County for Jean. Here's from Perry County, uh, three daughters and um, their whole family said uh, Lavina has the gout from, um, here's one too before we get back. We got just two more here, but we'll read these. Uh, from Lincoln County, uh, Juanita needs a touch from the Lord on oxygen and uh, just needs a touch from the Lord. And we want everybody to remember Roy and Geraldine. Macintosh, and especially Geraldine, she's not doing good, and and she's at home though I think so. But I've been over here, you know, been coming over here several years, and they was coming over here way before I ever got over here. And uh, first time I met them, I I just thought, you know, I believe they're good people, and I've been over here a whole bunch of times with them, and uh, just connect to them, and I, I've grown to love them, and um, just uh, they got such a good witness about them, and. Geraldine, you know, she's been real sick, and she's been so positive, and we've been upstairs and heard her talking to other people that's sick, and, you know, she never told them anything about herself. She'd always just say, I'm, I'm going to pray for you that God will touch you and help you. So uh, just uh, good people. So if you know the uh, worth of prayer out there, pray for them tonight. And we visited a lady over in London this morning. We'll not uh, call her by name, but... She's got cancer real bad, and she needs prayer real, real bad. She's at home, and she's in a lot of pain, and they sent, you know, her home with hospice, and so well, she just needs prayer. And uh, if she's watching in the family tonight, I want everybody to pray for them and just lift them up to the Lord. And got one here from an old guy I know for all my life, J.D. Prophet, and his wife said they're watching, wanted me to say hello to them, so... Uh, well, we, we do that tonight. No J.D. and his wife a long time. Love them and appreciate them. So we're going to get back to the singing tonight. Now, sister, stand over there while I'm carrying on, but don't want her to, uh, you know, get bored standing over there. But we appreciate people coming and wanting to sing and wanting to be a help to this ministry. We appreciate them so much. For this first group, we appreciate a whole bunch of them coming and the sister, she's singing over here, so we, we want to get right to her. She's got a CD for sale, so it said, Singing for Jesus. That's about as good of a title as you can give one. So, uh, Judith Courtney, uh, Sister for Christ, and it's, she's from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, area code 859-321-5535. Uh, say that again, 
5535, and it'll be on the screen. If you miss it, you call upstairs and get any of these numbers. But she's a member of the Christ Centered Church, and so Judy Courtney tonight singing Sister for Christ, and we appreciate her. God bless you, sis. It's such a pleasure to be back here at WLJC and to be a part of this ministry. And yes, there are many people that have called in that need prayer. So um, take a few minutes out there to pray for each and every one of them. You know, there's not a day that goes by that each one of us need prayer because we need that touch. We need that Holy Spirit from the Lord. I would like to take just a moment to say hello to Leela, who just lost her husband. Um, she's 90 years old, and um, she's just a blessing in my life, and I hope that I'm a blessing in hers, and she loves the Lord. I want to say hello to my veterans at the Thompson Hood Veterans Center, all those that have served in the armed forces. It's so important not to forget them. And um, I hope that you get a blessing from the songs that, that I have chosen tonight. This first song I wrote, it's called In the Hands of Jesus Christ, and it tells us those burdens we share and that we have on our heart, we've got to lay them in his hands. always there for you folks. Just turn it over to him. When your life is full of darkness and your heart is weighted down and the burdens that you carry are more Yes, more than you can bear. You must lay your heavy burdens in the hands of Jesus Christ. You must put your trust in Jesus while he takes away your strife. Then you'll feel your heart get lighter with each and every prayer. As he takes your hand in his hand, and he draws you all so near when all the world's temptations are stronger than you are put all your faith in jesus let him be let him be your shining star you must lay your heavy burdens in the hands of Jesus Christ. You must put your trust in Jesus as he takes away your strife. Then you'll feel your heart get lighter with each and every prayer. As he takes your hand in his hand and he draws you all so near. When your life seems so unfair And nobody really seems to care Just look up to Him for comfort By going, going to Him in prayer You must lay your heavy burdens in the hands of Jesus Christ you must put your trust in Jesus as he takes away your strife then you'll feel your heart get lighter with each and every prayer as he takes your hand in his hand and he draws you all so near oh so near If you know Jesus Christ, you're going to feel that nearness when he's there. 
This next song is an oldie that all of you out there know, so sing along with me. In the Garden. Can't beat the old time gospel. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the Son of God disclosed powerful song you know the Bible tells us that no one knows the day or the hour that Jesus Christ will be back so what it tells us is we have to be ready we have to accept him we have to bring him into our heart and ask him to forgive us of our sins folks there's a phone number on the screen right now if you do not know Jesus Christ all you have to do is call and there's someone there that will help you. I wrote this song just to get the point out to everyone that Jesus is coming back. Are you ready? We've got to be prepared, folks. We've got to know him. We've got to praise him every day. The Bible tells us to be ready, ready for the coming of our Lord. The Bible teaches us love and kindness. The Bible tells us how to live. The Bible gives us direction for our walk with Him. Are you listening? Are you ready? Jesus is coming, yes, Jesus is coming, he says, he's coming very soon. 
He'll come on the clouds from the heavens above. But will you be ready? Will your name be written in the book of life? Or will God? always have faith. The Bible tells us whatever is noble, whatever is true, we're supposed to do. Are you listening? Are you ready? Are you prepared? For Jesus is coming. Yes, Jesus is coming. He says, on the clouds from the heavens above but will you be ready will your name be written in the book of life or will God turn his eyes away because you weren't ready you weren't Revelations 22 12 tells us behold I am coming soon and my reward is with me so get ready as we said in the beginning we're not promised another hour another day this next one is another old oldie that you'll enjoy because it's one of my favorites he touched me and he does every day in my life. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath the load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus exactly what he'll do when you take him into your heart 
This next song, it's a little upbeat, but it's got a great message because we all need to be doing this. Everybody ought to know. time favorite. I hope you enjoy this one. Great message.
Jesus, Jesus. I don't know about you, but man, I feel his spirit it's everywhere. This next song I wrote as well, but I wrote it because there's so many people out there. Who is this Jesus? Who is this Jesus? So I wrote his story. Who was this man? Who was this man? Who left? his footprints in the sand a holy man yes a holy man won't someone tell me who was this man whoa, whoa, whoa. who was this man whoa, whoa, whoa they tell me he grew up a great carpenter teaching and a preaching his father's word healing the sick and raising the dead and making sure all his people were fed he was tempted in the devil with the desert for days to save his disciples he come the mighty ways performing his miracles all through the land and after all of this he was hated by man whoa, whoa, whoa. who was this man whoa, whoa. who was this man who was this man who left his footprints in the sand a holy man yes a holy man won't someone tell him on a tree for everyone to see he could have called his angels to set him free instead he gave his life to save you and me how can this be how can this be now he's up in heaven sitting on his throne making plans and preparing us a home before this man stand to receive his glory or from heaven be banned whoa, whoa, whoa. who was this man whoa, whoa. who was this man who was this man who left his footprints in the sand a holy man yes a holy man but now you know who was this man. 
His name was Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Oh, His name was Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Oh, oh, Jesus. Now we all know who He is. We have no excuse. Call on that phone. Let them help you. Let him come into your heart. Ask forgiveness of your sins. Believe in him. Accept him. Amen. When I see the sun rise in the morning And when I feel children playing I know it's all part of God's amazing grace and I believe there's a place called heaven Man Calvary. I believe in a man whose name is Jesus, and I believe that he gave his life. was there the day my mama went to heaven I held her hand and she closed her eyes to sleep and I felt the power of ten thousand angels soul away to be crowned at Jesus feet and I believe there's a place called heaven and I believe in a place called Calvary And I believe that he gave his life for me. For me. And I thank you. I thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you. I thank you. Um, can we skip this one particular song and go to the next one for my closing song? Um, I just really, at this time, I want to tell everyone out there and try to express that this WLJC is such a ministry for you. This is your church. This is where you learn about Jesus. This is where you can call and people are here to help you, to pray with you. To pray for you. You know, all you have to do is a salvation prayer. Accept Jesus Christ. Believe that he came to earth and he died for our sins and ask him into your heart. That's all you have to do. If you feel that spirit tonight, I pray. If he's tugging at your heart, call. Come upon 
sick for a country to which I've never Amen. Beulah land. Beulah means married, and that's the country we're going to. Um, the church is considered the bride, and um, we're going to have a marriage supper. The lamb, the Bible calls it one of these days, so I'm going to be a part of that. So I'm going to that place. Amen. That's Judith Courtney from uh, Lexington, and you need to uh, reach her. She's got a CD available, so it's area code 859 Three two one five five three five, and we appreciate her coming this uh, as far as she did and singing for us. Judith Courtney, sister for Christ. So we appreciate both groups tonight. Both of them done a wonderful job, and we appreciate them coming this way and singing tonight and being blessing to you. Got this note um, um, from Corbin. Said your cousin Eula Webb has called in and said uh, it would please her if you would say you got this message. So I say hello to you. Sister Eula tonight, and uh, down Corbin watching us, and uh, I'm professing, uh, you know, owning up to being my cousin. A lot of people don't do that, so 
We appreciate Eula tonight. God bless you for doing that, uh, Sister Eula. We'll read some of these, get in as many as we can, and then we'll pray, have prayer over them. So we, were, we will look through every one of them, and we'll try to get through as many as we can. Here's from Mount Vernon. An uh, uh, uncle has called in for his nephew, Harold. So he's in Cardinal Hill. Um, had a, a, you know, a serious condition. Has to learn to talk and walk again. 38 years old, so he needs prayer tonight. Somerset, husband has called in for his wife. Pray for her and cousin and, and uh, Ronald's in the hospital on life support and said he's not saved. And uh, the husband has diabetes, so that family's got a lot of problems. From Lexington, a lady has called in for herself and her sister-in-law. Terrible financial problems, um, physical health. Um, and, you know, ever since she was four-year-old. And so um, just a lot of problems there. Uh, also, a lady has called in for Judy herself and her brothers, and she's had surgery, has diabetes, and is not feeling good. Brother needs prayers that he's not saved. Another brother is going away from the Lord, so there's a lot of problems in that family. Murray has called in for her son, said he's in jail and in need of prayer. A lady has called in for healing. Uh, seems like everything has gone wrong, having trouble. Uh, you know, there's a lot of problems out there, but we, that's why we pray. And that's why we take him to the Lord, and we believe in the Lord. Uh, he's able to um, take care of every, every need. Joanne has called in for a nephew in UK Hospital of Cancer from Wayne County. Another one from Wayne County. Joanne's called in for a great niece in intensive care at UK. Pike County for Noah has cancer. Needs strength from the Lord. Clark County. Uh, called in for David in hospital in Fayette. The Lord knows all the needs and um, just a um, daughter has diabetes. Prefect County for a sister, Christine. Uh, said she had heart stamp, puts in yesterday, and now her blood pressure has gone down. Said um, pray for her blood pressure, so remember that. From Paris for Janice, uh, needs a touch from the Lord. Owsley County, Donald, uh, lung tumors, needs the Lord. Um, uh, to heal his problems. From Pike County, jo uh, Joanne may have cancer, needs a touch from the Lord. From London for Ella, uh, needs a prayer. Ella needs a prayer from the, uh, or a touch from the Lord. McCurry County for Lisa, um, just a lot of problems there, so remember all of them. Whitley County, Stacy, so her mom has COPD and dementia having trouble breathing tonight, so they need um, prayer there. Uh, Carter County, Josephine um, said she needs the Lord to help her understand why she does not feel like she's saved. Um, well, you know, we'll pray for that, uh, Josephine. Uh, if you're saved, I believe you, you, the Lord will show you you're saved. And if you're not saved, God will show you that. So, And you're not halfway, and you're not either halfway, or high, you're either saved or lost. And everybody is that, is that a way. There ain't nobody halfway one or the other. And I believe God's big enough to show you and let you know. Um, for Morgan County, Alpha needs a touch from the Lord and say it said pray for her uns, unsaved children. From Pulaski, Brenda, very sick with cancer and uh, wants the whole world to pray for her. And so remember that. Somerset, Lily uh, has kidney problems. Three-year-old needs a touch from the Lord. Madison County, Joyce needs a touch from the Lord tonight. Perfect County, Martha for her son and self and said son is on drugs and signed himself out of rehab and just need a prayer. Knox County, Penny is called in for herself. Leslie County, Junior's uh, called in for himself and wife. Strength in body. London, Tony uh, needs a um, touch from Robinson family. Fayette. Perfect County, all these, we, we got so many, we're not going to get through them all. But we've read every one of them. We have read every one of these tonight, and we're going to pray for them. We believe in prayer, and we know all these people here in this uh, audience tonight, here in the studio, will pray with us. We want you at home to pray with us tonight also. And if you're not saved, friend, while we pray, we want you to pray. The greatest need, listen, you... You can get sick and, and get healed, but you're still going to die eventually. Um, the Bible said in the book of Hebrew that it's once appointed unto man to die, and after death, the judgment. So everybody's going to die. The main thing is make sure you die saved. Amen. 
If you die saved, you're going to a better place. We've all, all these singers talked about that tonight. So pray with us. We'll pray tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and the blessings of this life. And we thank you for the service tonight and for these uh, singers that's come so far, Lord, and traveled many miles to come here to sing um, for your glory tonight and give you praise and just to give you honor. And we thank you for that tonight. And we ask you to give them safe travels back home and we know you'll do that. And we pray for all these requests, Lord. There's so many that's called in and such a great number tonight that's called and cancer and heart trouble and um, people not saved and people depressed and on drugs. and for, But every situation we know that uh, it's able to be uh, taken care of by your power, Lord. And we believe in that tonight. We ask you to touch each and every need, each and every life. And give these singers safe travel home. Bless this station. Bless every need. We bow our head. We give you a promise, Lord, in the sweet, sweet, blessed name of Jesus, we pray. And in his name we ask these favors. And amen. And amen. So we appreciate everybody tonight. Been a good service. And um, um, these groups come and sung for the glory of God. We appreciate them. And appreciate you watching tonight. We, we really do. And, and when we want to remind everybody, you know, um, get out tomorrow and March Sunday and go to church somewhere. Find you a church and go uh, and worship the Lord. Uh, you know, the Bible said, fail not to assemble yourself together as a man or some is, even much more so when you see that day approaching. And you don't have to come to my church. Uh, you, go, you can go where the Lord's being preached, where they'll tell you about Jesus. And, but uh, I will remind you, we don't say much about where we pastor over there, but over in Clay County, uh, Lebanon Baptist Church, and next Sunday, not tomorrow, but the following Sunday, we'll be having our homecoming services. And... The voices of praise from over in Barberville will be there singing and we'll have dinner afterwards and it's just a good day. So if you don't have a church, we're not going to take you away from your church, but if you don't have a church or you're looking for somewhere to go next Sunday, that's uh, a Sunday before Labor Day. The Labor Day will be that Monday. So come out and visit with us and, and we'll, we'll, we'll treat you real good. So And remember all the families tonight. We make mention, you know, Danelle. Uh, Asher and her family, and Barry Robinson, he's a preacher over in London, uh, and pastors of Emmanuel Baptist Church, had surgery, uh, 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 hurt his leg, failed and hurt his leg, and had surgery the other day, and he married my niece, so we, we love Barry, and won't you pray for him, he gets straightened out and back to church, and I know that's what he would like, so we, we want you to pray for him. So tonight, um, from the studios of WLJC, we, we appreciate everybody, may God bless you, and um, just uh, continue to tune in WLJC and pray for it. Uh, so tonight from all the staff, everybody here, all the, all the groups tonight, everybody, we bid you good night and, and may God bless you.